Alright, I've done this tutorial twice already. It's on creating a pawn piece. I've failed to reach the YouTube time limit twice. And now it's kind of short and rushed. I'm sorry. Look what happened to my face because of it. It's not pretty. So let's get to this dang tutorial starting now. Hey guys, I've done this tutorial twice so far and I've failed to reach the YouTube block time limit. So, third time's the charm. We're gonna make a pawn piece. Let's get to it. Open up Blender if you haven't already. Gonna go a little quick. Delete the default cube by hitting X. You're a selected object. Alright, now go to front view. If you do not have a pawn piece image, pawn image, go over to the sidebar. Download the image that I have posted in there. Once you get it downloaded, go to View, Background Image. Use Background Image, hit Load, find your image. And once you find it, hit Select Image, load it. Take your blend down a little, while well, at least I'm going to. Hit Space, Add, Mesh, not a cube. Hit Space, Add, Mesh, Plane. Rotate on the X, 90. Rotate X90, RX90. Alright, after you do that, we're going to go into edit mode, do hold down control, hit R. If you get a purple line down the center, hit your middle mouse button. Once you do that, delete these two vertices, delete these two vertices. Go back to object mode. Actually, you don't really need to go back to object mode, but anyways, under the background image, Y offset. We're going to bring this down to negative 1.40 and bring the X offset to uh, 3.1. Yes, 3.1. Now, exit that. Go into edit mode if you're not already there. Grab this top point, hit G and Z. Grab it on the z-axis, select there, right click on one, shift, right click on the other to select both vertices. Hit W, subdivide multi, increase it to 16. Now we can start editing. Grab this point, drag it out about there. Just follow where I'm dragging these points. I'm right clicking, then hitting. After I right click, I hit G. After that, I just move them along these points. Just follow what I'm doing. G. Left click to acknowledge it. Just keep following these little movements. You must concentrate, young one. Do it. Do it now. Shut up. Okay. Just keep doing it. As you can tell, we're running out of vertices. Not a problem. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Select these two. W, subdivide multi. Not that many times. Drag it down to... 3. Hit OK. I'm sorry if I'm going fast, but I've run out of time. 3 times. Two times already. It's annoying. Okay. Select these two. W. Subdivide. Grab that one on the X. Grab that on the Z. Okay. Now once you have a basic shape like this. Actually I'm going to take this. Move it there. And select these two. W. Subdivide. Grab that. And bring it up. Okay. Once you got all this basic shape down here, you may wonder how the heck we're gonna get a freaking pawn out of that. Simple. Go to top view. Under mesh tools down here, change the 90 to 360. Keep the steps at 9. Hit spin. Go to front view. Now it's a little blocky. We're gonna do a couple things in object mode. So go to object mode by hitting tab if you're in edit mode. Add a modifier, subsurf. Change levels to 1, render levels to 2, 
Come over to Lincoln Materials over here. Set smooth. Got black lines. Don't want them. Been over this. Hit A. Control N. So once you've got them all selected, hit Control and N. Recalculate normals outside. Now, deselect everything. Going to zoom in here. Control R. If you see this purple line going across, left click and drag it up. Select. Right there, there we go. And we've got a nasty line going down there. So go into edit mode, hit A, then W, remove doubles. We have 40 vertices doubles right now. Click on that, and it'll remove it. And look, doubles removed. Beautiful. Okay, go into edit mode. And I'm gonna grab this bottom vertice and just bring it up on the Z a little bit. And you know what? That's your freaking pawn piece. That is your freaking pawn piece right there. Love it. Cherish it. Love it some more. Is zero on the numpad. Oh yeah, you can get rid of that background image by going to view, background image, and X on that, X on that. Hit F12 to render. Oh God. There's your freaking bomb piece. Looks decent to me. Hit escape to get out of that if you want. You can save this by going to file, save, or file, save render image if you want the picture. All right, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any suggestions, mail me or leave a comment. Probably mail, because I'll see the mail more. All right, thank you for watching. Peace out. Well, my face is still screwed up. Not really sure why. Tutorial really fucked me up. Anyways, sorry if I just cursed and you're a little kid watching. I hope you found the tutorial informative and I hope it helped you out. If you have any tutorials that you want, please feel free to suggest them and I'll try to do it. Thank you for watching. It is 8.10 a.m. Gotta wait for this dang thing to be put together on Windows Movie Maker and then upload it to YouTube and go to bed. So, goodbye. Good night. Thank you.